Hello and welcome to QED Stata 1 from S19. So I'm going to make a new variable um, to show the species threat for each country. As you might be able to see here, I'm going to call it man risk. You can, you can call it something else. So don't, as with all the videos, don't feel that you have to watch through this because you may have already done this. So I'm just going to do step by step for people that are finding it difficult. So I'm going to call um, um, man risk. Five or fewer. Yeah. So hopefully this is going to catch five or fewer means less than six. So if mammals in 2018 was less than six or fewer than six, then it's going to call it level one. I'm going to go for level two. If it's greater than five, let's see the one up to. So greater than five, in other words, six, all up to 20. In other words, less than 21. So it's got to be greater than five, in other words, six, and less than 21, in other words, 20 or less. 20 or fewer, that's two. <laughs> okay, I said, I said try this. That was deliberately done to explain why you have to use replace rather than gen. Okay. So you should be able to tell why that went wrong. Three, if now it is, okay, that's going to be bigger than um, 20. And fewer than 50, wasn't it? Here we want it to go from so 21. 50, so including 21 and 50. So this includes 2 and that includes 50, and that's level 3. And level 4 is going to be very high risk. That's going to be bigger than 50, so 51 and upwards up to, I think, 100. I'm not entirely sure. Since you want to 100, okay. In other words, greater than 50 uh, or less than um, 101, and less than 101. That's level 4. And then finally, the last one is bigger than 100. So that's 101. Um, and as I said above, you can avoid problems if here you put less than or equals a dot. That gives you, that avoids some problem. So it's best to do that. But assuming you didn't do that, assuming you just did man risk. Five for anything bigger than a hundred. Get that. Let's just check we've done this over here. So, okay, so there's the man risk here. Good, so that's cool. Okay, so you should label the variable and the values. So we'll do that next before we look at this. Problem in question six. So let's do this S19 first. So, very bit itself and the value should be labeled. So, what should we call? So mammal species threat level will do for, for the overall name of the variable. And then um, what do we call this? 
this room. That's just quick risk lab. Advantage of quick risk lab is that you could then apply this if you had something like in the database, World Bank database, you'll find they also have um, um, similar things for fish and for birds and other species, so you could apply the same labeling to those species. So low threat or low risk. Quit low threat, so low threat, moderate threat, high threat, very high threat. That's risk lab one, two, three, four, five. And to actually apply that to it, so uh, so label the values in man risk with risk lab. Risk lab. And then hopefully back in browse. There we go. Okay. So that's labeled all the things up like that. But we can see there is a slight problem with this. Which is actually, it's not obvious for you to see, maybe I have to give you a hint. Can you see any problem with the critical category threat when you browse the data? Well, let's give you another clue here. If you want to look at the man risk and compare that with the actual level of mammals, what you can do here is in this window, you can just do this and it'll move the variable up a bit. I don't want to do that. Let's move the mammals down closer to the... I might make it a bit more obvious. So here's the actual level of mammals and there's the risk level. Uh, so you might see some strange things going on somewhere there. So here, in this country, which is French Polynesia, there's no record at all. It wasn't recorded, which is what the dot means, and that's been put down as critical threat. Uh, just because Stata regards these numbers for that kind of comparison, I think, think for some historical reason, it regards those numbers as like infinity, it's very, very, very high. So if you put anything over this, counts as critical threat, then it catches things which are actually missing, so it shouldn't be there. So you can get rid of it. You can fix it by doing things like this if you if you make a mistake. So what this will do is re replace all the ones. It will put that dot in for missing value if the actual value is missing. So I'm just going to run that now in Stata. But what I should have done was when you go through at this stage here. Yeah, when I, put that in. I should put here, if mammals is greater than 100 and less than dot, that would have stopped me having that problem. But now I've got the problem, I can fix it like this by replacing all the dots. And now hopefully back in the browser window, I have something more sensible. Yeah, so now a dot means it's missing here as well. That's better. That's kind of sensible. So fix your own data set if you, if you have got a similar problem like that. Um, so uh, in the next, um, video we'll go on to actually looking at some descriptive statistics at last but for now thanks for watching.